Hey everyone, Newman here with 910 Airgun Tuning and Repairs and today I've got you a new video. This video will be about the Pinpoint Trigger Shoe. So in today's video we'll have to remove the trigger guard, remove the old trigger shoe, install the new trigger shoe, and then put the trigger guard back on. In order to do this, we have a few tools. To remove the trigger guard, you will need a 2.5. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, 2.5. A well, and then we'll need a 1.27 to remove the old trigger shoe. A 1.5 to install the new trigger shoe. And then we'll go back to the 2.5 to install the trigger guard back. Okay, so to begin, we will be removing the trigger guard. As you can see here, I've taken a few pieces off the rifle already to make this easier. I can just take it and balance it just like that. Got my Panasonic driver. You can use a, a, a regular hex key 2.5. You can use a hand drive 2.5. Or like I used, I, I like to use the, the Panasonic here. So you've got four of these screws to remove to take off the trigger guard. They're all 2.5 millimeter. So I'm going to quickly go through this and take the trigger guard off. So there we go. Trigger guard is off. All four screws. We're just going to leave them right there, set to the side. The next step is to remove the trigger shoe. That was for the 1.27. So I'm going to use a little hand drive for this since it's a very small screw. And it should just be a couple twists and then it slides right off. So we're just going to set this to the side now. So now we've got the new pinpoint trigger shoe. This is a 1.5. The screw's been upgraded to a larger size to so make it easier. So 1.5 is a much more standard uh, hex key than a 1.27. So we're going to put this into a hand drive. Slide that trigger shoe on. And also remember the trigger shoe is offset to one side. Uh, so if you have the hole more offset to the right, the trigger shoe will stick off more to the left. So that's if you have a more of an overhit on your finger. You can flip it over uh, if you want it to be closer to the right side or if you're lefty and you have overhang. So well, I want it installed like this. And it's just tighten the screw down quite lightly. There we go. The shoe is uh, symmetrical, so the top and bottom are the same, so that's why it's okay if you flip it over. Uh, you're going to get no difference in the shoe, uh, how it performs itself. Like I said, the only difference is the, the left and right uh, offset there. As you can see here, there's less material here and more material there because the hole is offset. Now real fast, before we put the trigger guard back on, I did want to note, uh, it is also, you can still pivot it. So all you gotta do is loosen, and then it still pivots on the post, just like the old one. And to make a really quick and easy change, you don't have to remove it off the post in order to change out the center screw. If you wanna go with a smaller screw or no screw at all, it's again a 1.5. And there you go. Now there's no screw at all. If you want to put a shorter one in there, this one is a three by six. Uh, the kits that I sell are coming with a three by five and a three by four uh, extra in case you want to go shorter. Or like I said, you can run it with no screw at all. Still on there nice and tight. So we're going to put that back in now. The screws are stainless steel, so they're not going to be magnetic. And you don't have to crank down or tighten really hard. You just feel it get a little snug and you're good to go. All right, so now we're gonna put the trigger guard back on. Now 
When installing any of the pieces on the impact that have multiple screws, such as the trigger guard or the top plate, scope rail, the magazine plate, any of those, it's always best to do in a, like what I like to call a tire lug pattern. So crisscross. So I started there, went to that one, then went here and back to there. That way they're all equally tight and it should end up square. Okay, there you go. Now the pinpoint trigger shoe is installed. And there you go, and I can feel that nice little pin right there even through my nitrile glove here. For a nice trigger pull. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below, or you can shoot me an email over to uh, info at 910agtrllc.com. I shortened it up to make it easier. Uh, and you always visit the website as well, www.910agtrllc.com. All right, we got some big changes coming this year. This is the first video of many. As you can see, a nice new setup here. And uh, we got many more coming out. So look forward to it, and happy shooting.